Hey, what's up, YouTube? Aero Design here. Um, I'm gonna be showing you the format that you want to save this logo in. The last video that we did, watch that if you haven't seen it. Uh, how to save this logo in a vector format. There are several things you need to do before you do this. Now, you have to make these characters. These are still type. They are not. They are not objects yet. Now you're going to have to make these into objects before you save these as a vector image. Now you're going to have, you're going to be let. I mean, you're asking yourself how am I going to make these into an object. Now you clicked on them, click on the one letter, go to object, expand, okay. Now it's an object, now it has a path. This paths make it object. Now they're vector. You can make them as big as you want and they will not blur. Do it with the other thing. There we go. Now these are objects. Instead of text, you have your path here. I wonder if this is yes. It's already expanded. All right. Um, you only have to do this with text. If you needed to do it with anything else, I don't know what's wrong with your computer, but it's broken. Sorry. Um, now once you have this down, go to file. And one thing you have wrong with doing save as is you can only save it as AI, EPS, uh, PDF, AIT, FXG, SVGZ, and SVG. Now all these things are not, you cannot submit them for any designers. Like you cannot enter them into a contest because they're not vector and they will not accept those they only accept JPEG and PNG and different file formats like that now how are you going to do that I don't know you go to file export and select what you want PNG JPEG I would say PNG is my recommended because it allows you to have transparent background and it just gives this part of the file to it, not the extras. Now, export, replace, since I already did this. And it has resolution, which you can do any, anything you want. I'll do screen, because it won't use so much memory. Uh, color, background, I use transparent, because it's PNG. Uh, this doesn't really matter now okay and there you are you have a vector file and you can now use it for your YouTube don't use it because it's mine but um, you can do this with any of your anything that you want your YouTube profile to be uh, it will work it will work now um, let's see if I were to go to documents, open it up. Give it a second. Open it up, and it is almost perfect quality. Now, if you want it to look even better, more like that, you would use a better PP as in 300 which is the highest it'll just waste a lot of memory though um, this looks pretty good and it can be expanded as large as it wants or most likely a lot larger than pixels thanks for watching this video if you liked it please put a thumbs up and leave a comment for me uh, if you need anything just ask uh, and I'll make a video for it. Thanks, and please subscribe. Bye.